Fibrobots or Bristlebots are a great engineering challenge to integrate within your STEM classroom or makerspace. When I introduce teachers to Vibrobots during my trainings, I start off the lesson with giving each group of teachers a hex bug to analyze. Hex bugs were invented by Beam Robotics. Hex bugs move based on a vibrating motor. Your students can make an affordable Vibrobot or a Bristlebot using recycled or dollar store items. The challenge develops and strengthens the four C's, creativity, critical thinking, communication, and collaboration. Provide students with parameters to follow, and a time frame, and allow students to choose their own materials. Students will incorporate the engineering design process or design cycle. The challenge can be extended by building solar-powered vibrobots, draw bots, or beam bots. And it hits something and it goes the other way. Like the little flies that get in your house and just fly in circles. <laughs> Moves the legs. To move forward, so it's just vibrating and the vibration that it's... it's like a 90s kids toy or something. Oh, they move just... Mine's kind of a circular guy. <laughs> yeah, this tape's not super sticky though. Mm -hmm. I'm successful. <laughs> what could he do to get it to go forward? Some weight in the back. Stuff, but it wouldn't even move forward or anything. It just sat there and vibrated. It's too short. So I was thinking we should find some of that heavier wire for the legs. And stuff, but it wouldn't even move forward or anything. It just sat there and vibrated. It's too short. So I was thinking we should find some of that heavier wire for the legs. Continuous it's, experimentation. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Not with our stuff. Where is that? Uh -oh. Ours kind of does its own thing, it's weird. So as a teacher, you could say, you've got movement, and you can say, well, I like the way those eyes look black. I like that one. Off by the garbage, I noticed this. Somebody abandoned this, and so I'm thinking this is less weight. So I was dumpster diving. After that, we realized we had a dud of a motor. It would run, it ran, but there was an antenna. And um, the engineering is the toothbrush <laughs> that we just added a bunch of stuff to. I mean, that was.